What's going on you guys? My name is Cameron Noel and welcome to my commentary entertainment channel where I talk about social issues, social media, TV shows, music, everything entertainment and I give my commentary my unwanted opinion because I can't. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification down below so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And <laughs> I don't know why I did that. And if you would like to, you can follow me on social medias. You can follow me on Twitter where no one is safe because cancel culture rules the ass. Like, no, I'm just playing. You can follow me on Twitter where no one is safe because everybody's out for blood. Or you could follow me on Instagram where my sad, sad photos flop when I get the courage to post them. Twitter, Instagram. And that is that on that. So I have been really, y'all, I'm really excited for this video. I have been waiting to do this video for so long, but I had to go back and watch some seasons. I had to go back and watch Hotel, and I had to fully watch American Horror Story. 1987, 1984. Had to go back and watch those because I'm just here for it. So I am so excited for this video. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna rapid fire through them. Uh, I don't like saying rapid fire. I'm not gonna like, I mean, I'm not gonna sit on here and like talk for like 30 minutes because I just don't like know. Oh, I forget. Spoiler warning, just so you guys know, I will be spoiling things in this video. Listen, it's a video of me talking about every season of a series. So if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you've watched all of them. It's a, so, spoiler warning, so don't come in the comments saying, oh, you spoiled this, 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 no, no. All of these seasons have aired, but I'm going to rank all the seasons of American Horror Story, yep, 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 from Murder House to 1984. And we're gonna get into it. These are just my opinions. If you disagree, feel free to put your list down below and we can talk about it respectfully. Otherwise, don't come at me because I said what I said. And yeah, this is just my personal opinions. I'm gonna rank them from one through nine because it's nine seasons. And I'm gonna, you know, give a brief explanation and then I'm gonna move on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm done being chaotic. Let's get into it. Huh? Let's talk about that. So coming in at dead last at number nine is Cult. Listen, American Horror Story Cult just wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. I don't know. The one word I can use to describe the season is pedestrian because American Horror Story has gone so many places they've gone to haunted asylums ghost witches voodoo queens you know ancient ghosts from like colonialism like just so many crazy places like Lady Gaga playing this vampire empress like just so many places and to me a cult just seems really pedestrian in comparison to all the other seasons it just wasn't for me. Like, it just didn't give me that excitement like I wanted. And then it was just like, I'm, I believe, I don't remember, I didn't watch Cult when it came out. I watched it when it hit Netflix, but I believe it came out during the election time or a little bit before that. And it was dealing with issues like, um, like there was like cults and then her, you know, shooting her neighbor who was Hispanic and like him not being legal. It was, it was a lot of things, that was a lot of realism. And I don't look, listen, I come to American Horror Story for the otherworldliness, you know, that paranormal. I don't come for realism. I don't come to dissect race relations. We can talk about race within it, like they've done it plenty of Coven and stuff, but I just don't want to deal with a cult and like paranoid white lesbians. It just wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. It was too, it's too pedestrian for me. It wasn't a bad season. I don't think there's any bad season of American Horror Story. Like American Horror Story is a fantastic, phenomenal, Phenomenal, phenomenal series. I don't think any season, season sucks, but it just wasn't for me. So that's cult. So coming in next is Roanoke. Roanoke is a slow starter. Roanoke is a grower, not a shower. I was a little bit iffy. In the beginning, I was like, what's, 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 what are you doing here? I was really like, just, hmm, what's, what's happening here? But it grew on me, it grew on me. I don't know, it was very, the meta took me a bit to get a, a hold of it, cause you know, you have an actor, you have a show within a TV show, and you have an actors playing actors who are also actors in real life. So it was a lot. But I will say, when all the chaos happened and all the actors and the real people are all at the mansion and everything's going crazy, the ghosts are coming out, the, the angry mob of settlers who disappeared and you know, comes like slaughter everybody. Just, everyone just gets slaughtered. I was here for it. Okay, coming in at number seven, we have the most latest season, American Horror Story 1984. So, this season escalated quickly for me. I remember watching, when I was watching it this summer, I remember, I'm like, we're only on episode two and a lot is happening. Things are going crazy. Like, they did not pull any punches. They did not, like, 
forget the slow build. They jump, put us right in the middle of everything. And I enjoyed it. It felt like a very, it felt like a rewrite of a lot of things. One, there was a lot of aspects of um, Friday the 13th, like, you know, little boy at a summer camp drowns, his mother gets, goes crazy and starts murdering the campers who weren't watching him. Like, it's very much like paying homage to like classic horror films. But also it felt like a rewrite of American Horror Story just because like we've we've already done the whole purgatory on earth where if you die in a certain place your spirit is stuck there and you can roam and do whatever you want. We've already dealt with that. We did that in the first season. We've done that in a Murder House. We've done that in a Hotel and now we're doing it in 1984. Like we've, it's been done. It's been done. It's period. It's been done several times. So it just felt like it was like a rehash of everything, but it was still good nonetheless. It was just like, been there, done that. We've seen it, we've enjoyed it, we've loved it, and it was still a good season. Mm. Mm. I will say there were some really funny moments. It's very quirky. Honestly, I can't remember what his name, the actor's name. I cannot remember, but he was in Dear White People. Um, I cannot remember what his name is, but he was handsome to look at. He's also trash for leaving his friend in that state, state coal. Trash. Garbo. Garb. Pool, pure garb garb. I'm gonna put his name up on the screen because I can't remember it right now. But he was fun to look at. 1984 definitely did a new thing with like as far as like, um, this is the first time I think where all the ghosts have come together and like they torment one ghost. So when they get um, Richard Ramirez and they just all take turns watching him and like killing him repeatedly, repeatedly, whenever he respawns, that was entertaining. That was a new take on it and I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. But as far as that, it was pretty good. It was pretty, it was a very mid-season. It's very mid. All right, coming in at number six, we have American Horror Story Apocalypse. That ain't the work of the Lord. Now, I don't know how people feel about this season, so people might get triggered. I liked Apocalypse before I say anything. I liked Apocalypse. However, Apocalypse was 100% fan service. It was fan service, and I'm not mad at it, but it was fan service, so let's, let's call it what it is. Listen, Ryan Murphy and the writers got together and they were like, what do the fans love? They love the witches. They love Murder House, the first season, where we have the, the demon baby, the antichrist. We haven't got that plot line together. We have magic. We have the voodoo queens. We have everything. They literally took two of the most beloved seasons and meshed them together to make one, which I'm not mad at. That's very smart. However, if there was one word to describe American Horror Story Apocalypse, it would be missed potential. Missed potential, because there was just so many places to go. And I think the only thing that's bringing the season down is the ending. The ending, just because literally, this whole season has pretty much been Michael Langdon, the Antichrist, son of Satan, going around, basically telling everybody, Oh, I'm starting to really come into to form. Uh-huh. Nay. Nah. This is not even my full form. This isn't my final form, you guys. I'm not even at my most powerful yet. You're gonna see how powerful I am, you know? It's not even, it's that. And for this powerful character who has killed so many beloved characters off, murdered so many people, done so many impossible acts and so much power, for him to be killed by a car, yes, I get it, they, they did time travel, but honestly, you should never do time travel because someone pointed, as someone pointed out, when they did the time travel and killed Michael Langdon, all the good that they did when they went to the murder house and like saved all the spirits and helped the spirits out was undone. It was undone, completely undone by changing the timeline. You should never add time travel. Time travel just makes your stories a bit much. But it was a lot of missed potential. There were so many places. The final battle, while it was fun, it was just, it could have gone so much better. Like they brought back the voodoo, the original voodoo queen and she was there for like five seconds before she got killed off again. They did Madison Montgomery dirty by leaving her in her purgatory after she helped save the world. Like, come on now, come on now. And my question is, do the people who died do they keep their memories from the previous timeline now that they're dead? So many questions. So many questions that were opened up because of time travel. It was fan service, it was good, they were doing really great, and in the end, just lost it for me a bit. And honestly, with the Antichrist, they really, 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 really missed a clear opportunity to make Mallory an angel. Not the next Supreme, but an angel. Like, above a witch. Like, they, they missed that opportunity. They completely missed the opportunity, but it is what it is. Miss opportunities. Okay, so number five is Freak Show. Freak Show is a good season. It's a good season. I think I was a little bit, I think I was I was a little bit biased going in the Freak Show just because like, ugh, scary clowns and I don't know. I just could tell that like Freak Show was really gonna like 
scare me. Like, I think Freak Show, out of all the American Horror Story seasons, are the one, it's the one season that has really, like, freaked me out. Like, it's really freaked me out. But I ended up loving it. I enjoyed the, like, little ragtag family of circus performers who have disabilities. Oh, that was great but i was really just like i need to i need to go back and rewatch it but honestly i was like how are you guys not noticing that this guy is like literally killing off your friends like he's literally killing off your friends like disappearing them he did get his comeuppance although i will say the ending really upset me just because god damn how how dare you how dare you how dare dandy come back with a gun and just massacre everybody i was pissed i was upset i was heated i was taken to a place that I wasn't comfortable with. I was triggered. There was a lot going on. Did not enjoy that. But you know, I guess that they're all they're all dead. They're all in their little freak they're all in their little circus purgatory afterlife, whatever you want to call it. But I'm just saying, Dandy, he shot everybody. I was upset. I was upset about it. I'm not gonna lie. I was upset about it. I was. So yeah. Number four is Murder House. Murder House, very first season. It's a good season, honestly. And it's like classic, like I think like, to start out with a haunted house is like classic horror story. It's classic horror story. And honestly, I love it. The dad was so stupid, so stupid, so stupid. To move your family there, to move your family. You are gonna get it when I get your ass. You're gonna die so hard. Ooh, 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 ooh. Idiotic, irresponsible, disrespectful. No, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. Tate, horrifying. And the thing is, Tate is a horrible, he's like, he's done horrible things. He's not even the worst. Like, he's definitely like up there as far as doing horrible things, but he's not even the worst. But there was, mm, mm, he was a mess. He was a mess. I didn't like him for Violet. She deserves someone else, period. And I was very upset in Apocalypse when they got them back together because girl, why? He impregnated your mother with the Antichrist who ripped into her and made her die. Like, come on now. No. I will say then the, the, the fake out that Violet was actually dead the entire, like half the season. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also, I just want to say, I haven't mentioned it yet, but Jessica Lange, Jessica Lange and Sarah Paulson, MVPs. They, any, any scene that they are in, magic. Perfection. Perfection. Anything they touch, gold. Period. Platinum, diamond, it's sold. Outsold. So that's all I have to say about Murder House. Murder House number four. Okay. So in my body, I wanted to put this next season up at number one, but I couldn't do it. Because something I know I want to say it. I know it's a beloved season. I love it. It's probably my favorite to watch. However, I know objectively it is not the best season. Number three is Coven. Coven is the one season of American Horror Story that needs its own spinoff, period. Coven had the most interesting world building out of the entire show for me. Papa Legba, everybody personal hells, the voodoo queens, the witches, the supremes, the, the seven wonders, like all of it was so interesting to me and I loved it. And I think the reason why I love it is because one, I love magic, anything with magic, like Anything with magic, period, I, I'm gonna love it, period, like regardless. I love magic, I love wizards, I love witches, I love warlocks, I love all that stuff, so I'm a little biased on that front. And also the witchy, the, the bitchy banter is really entertaining, and I think that's why people love it, because it's like bitchy banter and like cattiness. That's why all the people love it, but it's not the best season. It's not. It's not the best season. It's not. I can admit it. It's not the best season. However, it's my, it's probably my favorite to watch. And also, Fiona Good, Fiona Good, one of the best villains. Best villains touch American Horror Story. One of the best villains. Sis was ready to cut down her entire coven just so she could stay young and beautiful. She's gonna cut down her entire coven, including her daughter, just, just so she could stay young and beautiful forever. That's a that's a selfish, horrible, bad bitch. That's a bad bitch. I can't lie. It's a bad bitch. I'm sorry. That's a bad ass bitch. A bad classy ass bitch. I can't even lie. It's a bad bitch. Best villain. One of the top five villains. Top five villains. Okay, so number two is Hotel. Before I made this video, I had to rewatch Hotel as well, just because I watched American Horror Story my freshman year of high school and then me and my friend fell in love with it. So then we like binged them and we binged them back to back. So by the time I had got to like season five, I think at this point only, um, I think freshman year, which is like 2017 at this point, 
only the, the latest season was Roanoke on Netflix at least. So I, by the time I got to season five, I was just so tired. Like I was burnt out because I've been watching back to back seasons. So I had to go back and fully immerse myself in it. And season five was a great season. Lady Gaga is that girl. The Countess is a great character, great villain. And I forgot how many storylines there was. Mm, I thought I saw something move. Trauma. Yeah, but I forgot how many storylines there were. You got the the commandment murders. You have Countess trying to sucker this guy out of his money so that she can be rich and murder him and run off in the sunset. You got the vampire children running around. You got the missing child that turns out that the Countess has had for years who has made him immortal. And there's just new things just coming out, coming out, coming out. And then you got so many people coming out for Countess because she deserved it, honestly. She deserved her fate. She did so much trash to everybody. She deserved her fate. Deserved her fate. And honestly, never in a mil never in a million years would I have thought that there would be a universe where Angela Bassett and Lady Gaga are ex-girlfriends. I will say, Hotel, I was upset how they did my girl Queenie Dirty, letting her get eaten up. Did not appreciate that. Was not happy about that. They even play. They played my girl Queenie. Cause explain to me, explain to me how Queenie could do the resurrection spell. But when she took the seven wonders and she had to bring someone back, she couldn't do it no more. How does she just, she just lose that power? It just disappeared? She could only do it once? Stop playing with me. Stop playing with my girl. The addiction demon with the drill penis made me very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. I didn't enjoy that scene. I didn't enjoy any scene he was in. Especially the first episode, sexual assault on the first episode by demon. I didn't need that. I didn't need that. I didn't need that. No. I didn't need that. But number two was Hotel. Finally, we have number one, which I think objectively is the best season of American Horror Story. In my opinion, at this moment, maybe I'll rewatch them all again and like change my opinion and change my view set. But right now, I feel like Asylum, season two, Asylum, is the best season of American Horror Story. The storytelling, the, the, the storytelling, the drop, the, 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 tw the twist and turns. Listen, Ryan Murphy will pay for his crimes against Lana Winters. Lana Winters went through hell. She is one of the most tortured American Horror Story characters. One of the most tortured characters on the, se in the series, period. Homegirl was illegally, illegally put into an asylum, had her girlfriend murdered, was forced to undergo embarrassing and humiliating conversion therapy because she was a lesbian. I had electroshock therapy. Then, then when that wasn't bad enough, she finally gets snuck out of the asylum by this therapist and this doctor who she thinks is on her side. Turns out he is a serial killer that has been killing women and people all over who murdered her girlfriend. And then he sexually assaults her and then gets her pregnant and she has his child who then comes back in adulthood and tries to kill her. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Lana Winters could not catch a break. That, oh my God, girl. Girl, sis was going through, she was going through it. She was going through it. She was going through it. Listen, this season was great. It was great, great. On the edge of my seat. Lana Winters, a great character. I also, I love the alien part. Like, I know some people might think the aliens was like weird, but I enjoy the aliens and I enjoy the ambiguity of it all. Like, the fact that they never showed us the alien's full, full body and form. We just saw their like their long gray finger. We don't know why they came to Earth, what they wanted. I think maybe they did, but maybe I gotta rewatch it. But I, I don't remember why. And then for them to just come back and take one of the main characters again, and then bring the main characters back to life. Like, the aliens, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. They were probably a bit of a like, um, a narrative like crutch like they can be, they can bring people back from the life bring people back from the dead and like stuff like that so it was probably like a little cop out but i enjoyed it it was gripping i was enthralled we got mary sister mary eunice running around with the devil in her ciao ciao you got arden who's a freaking nazi and he's making like little zombie people out of the, the patients no no it's just the storytelling so many weaves. Like I will say American Horror Story, they know how to keep the plot going. They know how to in interweave plot points. That is a very good strength of this show. They know how to get the plot points going. They know how to do it. They, they're they there, they're here. They're here with it. But yeah, Dr. Threatson, Bloody Face, 
he's definitely a top tier villain. Definitely a top tier villain. Definitely. Definitely. That man has not seen the Pearly Gates. Not at all. He has never seen the Pearly Gates. The Golden Gates, they don't open for him. He's locked out. That man is evil. E evil. How are you going to befriend this woman? You're going to befriend her, put her through conversion therapy, sneak her out, and then assault her? And then you're going to ask her to have your child, to keep your child? You're a murderer. Girl, ill. Just wrong. 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 But yeah, those are my thoughts and opinions on American Horror Story. I ranked all the seasons. So if you disagree once again, it's just my opinion. Feel free to put down your list down below. We can talk about it. We can chat about it. We can chat about it respectfully. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, you might like my other ranking videos. I rank the Bad Girls Club seasons, the RuPaul's Drag Race seasons, Ariana Grande's albums. So get into it. And I have more videos coming for you guys, and I'm really excited. So with that being said, that is in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching once again. My name is Cameron. Follow me on social media, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you in the next video. Boy, Tway named Troy used to live in Detroit. Big dope dealing money, he was getting some coins. Was the shootouts with the lure, but he lived in a palace.